wild being. Wow! She was born into poverty in rural Mississippi to a single teenage mother and later raised to the inner city of Milwaukee, New York. She's queen of all media. She's an American media proprietor, talk show host, actress, producer, and philanthropist. She is Oprah Winfrey. Respected Toastmasters, guests, and fellow youth leaders, a very warm good evening to all. Good evening. She, was, uh, she was ranked as the world's first most powerful person by Forbes magazine in 2015, the highest ranking ever achieved by a woman. At school, she learned to speak Russian fluently and was awarded for her proficiency in Russian and mathematics. She is Angela Merkel. Angela Merkel is a German politician, Chancellor of Germany, leader of Germany since 2005. She traveled 10.64 kilometers, I mean 10.64 million kilometers, which is as many as 252 times around the Earth. She was the first Indian Oregon woman to go on space with NASA. Unfortunately, she was the seventh crew member killed in space mission Columbia disaster. You all know her. She is Kalpana Chawla. She is an eighth grader, makes beautiful pictures, a good dancer, ambitious and hardworking, achieving her goal. She is Yuzida Mansi. <laughs> the thing which is common in them is that they all are educated women. They are the main example of how women can do great things. Now, let me take you 200 years ago. Imagine me and Aishwarya Biju 200 years ago. I, Mansi Bagalkote, is now married at the age of 12. Aishwarya Biju is having two children at the age of 15. <laughs> My elder sister-in-law is 25 years old, has six children, but now if you her head is shaved. Wears only white sari, lives in a dark room in our house. Do you think any one of us is educated? No. no one could even think of education. There are no girls going to school. Girls are married at their early age. Last year, there was plague in our district. Plague is a disease. At least one person from every family died due to this deadly disease. There were no medicines for this disease. Many men and many women died due to this disease. In this period, can anyone think of women's education? Can anyone think of giving medicines to them? Can anyone think of women's liberty? Fellow youth leaders, there was a village called Nigal in Pune district Maharashtra state in India, their one woman was completely different than the rest of the women, named Savitri Bai Phule. Savitri Bai worked as both educational and social reform, especially for girls. She wanted girls to go to school, but there was no school. The whole society was against to send the girls to school, and she came up with an idea for girls to school. She was considered as school. With her strong <coughs> desire, she started the first school of girls. But there was no money, no teachers, no books, no place, and no students. By her own money, she started the first school of girls. She was the only teacher there, and that's how the first school of girls started. Savitri Bai strongly believed that if you educate a girl, you educate the whole society. If the wife dies, the husband could marry again. Whereas, if the husband dies, the wife cannot. She has to live the life of a widow. She has to shave her hair, wear white sari, live in a dark room for her whole life. Savitri Bai took initiative against this evil ritual. During this period, lower caste people were considered as untouchables. They were not allowed to drink water, which is meant for the upper caste people. Savitri Bai and her husband opened a well for these lower caste people in, eight, in 1868. <laughs> Savitri Bai and her adopted son, oh, Savitri Bai and her adopted son opened a clinic for the people who were affected by the deadly disease plague. <clears throat> Savitri Bai 
Savitri Bai. Savitri Bai personally took the patients to the clinic where her son treated them. This great woman was curing the patients, and while curing patients, she was affected by the deadly disease. This great woman saved thousands of people from various diseases and died on 10th March 1897. I salute this woman who initiated the girls' education in India. Because of great work of people like Savitri Bai, today we can see women scaling heights such as Opera Winfrey, Angela Markle, Kalpana Chawla, and yours truly, Yudhira Mansi. Over.